Evening. Elections in North Georgia showed a trend among voters, especially in Walker and Dade counties. Well, that trend was a movement away from incumbents. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us with a look at the tightest race of all. John? Well, Kim and Latricia, the race for the four-county Northwest Georgia District Attorney race was razor thin, and there may be a recount. Consider this. Voters cast just over 21,900 votes, and Buzz Franklin won by only 43 votes over Doug Woodruff. Now, if this stack of paper were ballots, this is how tight this race was. Herbert Buzz Franklin has been district attorney for 16 years. He stayed up late into the night, anxiously waiting to see if he could hold off challenger Doug Woodruff. Franklin believes anti-incumbency affected this race. Well, I know there is some anti-incumbent sentiment out there, and some people just think, well, if you've been in office a certain number of years, then that should be enough, and you should move on to the next person. And will the 43-vote margin stand a possible recount challenge? We made contact with challenger Doug Woodruff and spoke with him off camera. He says with a margin this tight, his camp is obviously looking at all options, and right now they are in evaluation mode. He has a few days to decide. This afternoon, Katusa Board of Elections members started the consolidation process. They are verifying the serial numbers on every voting machine used. Some military and provisional votes could still come in. The results will not be certified until uh, I believe it's going to be Monday. Um, it used to be you had two days after the election to uh, count any provisional ballots that you might have as well as getting in your UACAVA overseas ballots. Um, now they have until Friday. If Woodruff believes a counting error happened, he doesn't have to show evidence. Also, if the margin's less than 1%, which it is, he has two days to file a written request after certification. And since the election covers four counties, a recount request goes to the Secretary of State within two days of certification. We ask Franklin if he sees a recount coming. I, I don't know if there would be one or not. You know, in the days of paper ballots, uh, you would expect uh, some change if there's a recount. But with the electronic balloting, I don't know if there would be much of a chance of any changes. But it wouldn't be unexpected if. Now, the Secretary of State's office tells me they expect certification at the first of next week. And Doug Woodruff has yet to make a set-in-stone decision. Meanwhile, Walker County Commissioner Challenger Paul Shaw has requested a recount in his 211-vote loss against Commissioner Beattie High School.